next station is Ealing Broadway. Change for the Central Line, the Elizabeth Line, and National Rail Services. Find the gap between the train and the platform. Because they say, oh, these people are able to write a beautiful thing with this idea. Because this idea is so intangible that it has to be very well written, it has to be, you know, or it can be boring and disastrous. That's the truth. Why Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park with this high concept, very, I mean, unlikely will be moving, or Titanic, I mean, this is, cannot be boring, uh, all these things happening, you know. But a character with an internal journey on this, this could be extremely boring, as you know, I'm sure you've seen it as an unsuffering, because, or it can be marvelous, okay? So, what sort of dying is, how are you getting on? I still want my hair. The size is more blue. Are you still getting vlog content today? Yesterday I, I couldn't get any, really. You know that everything is correct, okay? So, number two is know your genre. Definitely know your, your genre. And um, then, you know, say it beforehand. Uh, if you're struggling to make a comedy sound funny, or a drama sound dramatic. If you have a problem and the comedy that you're pitching doesn't sound funny, or you have a drama that makes people laugh, this means this, this there's some mistake in the whole thing, okay? 
maybe the beats, the things that happen, okay? Then number three, do practice your pace at home, make sure you don't overrun, you are okay with time. And this is very important. You will see it now when we watch things because I mean, you cannot, you cannot overrun the allocated time for several reasons. The first one is because they will cut you. They will say over, and you will be like in the middle of your explanation. And the second one is because these people are listening to one, one, one after the other, one after the other. If you make it longer, they, they will lose all concentration, definitely. Okay, number four, don't compare your series with screenplay to existing movies, <laughs> unless it helps to make your project sound fresh and exciting. Because if you tell about all this, this I, I compare my movie to this one and this one, it sounds like it's one more movie among many about the same thing. So don't compare unless, for example, you can say, okay, my story is like Romeo and Juliet, and then they would say, wow, one more love, impossible love story. But then you say, my story is like, is comparable to Romeo and Juliet, but it's set in a distant galaxy. Now is a fresh thing. Wow, how would a story like Romeo and Juliet's story develop in a distant galaxy? Then this makes it fresh. If it's, if it's not for a reason like that, don't, don't compare it because it will make it sound repetitive. Then don't mention specific actors and directors or directors. Don't mention specific actors, but be prepared if they ask for your opinion. So you have to be ready to answer the question, but you don't anticipate it. You don't say it in the pitch only if they ask you after the pitch. And then, it's, oh, and then number six is important. Register your three to four page pitch document, serious pilot or screenplay. Copyrighted, it means. Which is, inter is interesting because in the UK there is no copyright, no official copyright agency, which is strange. Because this is it's the only country that I know that has no official copyright agency. If for intellectual property, uh, there is copyright for inventions, machines, this yes, okay, and copyright for traits and names and brands. But intellectual property, copyright, that this is all I have. Copyright for intellectual property, there is no official agency in the UK. Uh, if you, for example, Google how to register, how to copyright my script, my whatever, you will find private companies doing that, but there's no official agency. And um, in all the rest, of the, in America, there's an official agency, which is the Library of Congress, governmental, and then there is the Writers Guild. Uh, but here, not even in the Writers Guild, the, the Writers Guild, the thing doesn't have a copyright. So, what happens if you are pitching a project, you're pitching a story, like three or four different producers get to listen to it or, and receive your pitch then, and then they never ever call you <coughs> and they take the story and produce it with another writer, you, you could sue them. I mean, there is a tendency, because people have a tendency to, we all do, have a tendency to think that our stories are very original. And then if another, someone else has more of the same idea, we, we have a tendency to say, oh, they copied me. <laughs> and maybe not, because the truth is that things linger, ideas linger. Many people have more or less the same ideas at the same time. But a different thing is, you have been pitching something, and it's a quite clear story with different turning points and a clear plot. And then nobody even listens to you, nobody, you know. And then, three years later, you see a produced series, and you say, what? This is where I pitched. And then you see that it's not only the idea, which could be, you know, common to many people, no, no. You see that 
many elements in the story, many turning points are yours. If you have not the copyright, you would never even complain. But if you have the copyright, you could say, listen, you have copied and then you, so I would recommend that you copyright. I guess, in, I mean, because in England there is no, in the UK there is no official agency, yeah, you could go and sue them, and if there were you know, a trial or something, then of course, I guess, uh, uh, emails, things like that, but this, you know, it, it's better if you have the copyright. I copyrighted this. This is my pitch. This is all the ideas I gave you, these turning points, and they are being used. Or if you have the entire um, script, you copyright the entire script. You cannot copyright in, in for example, in, in the United States, you can copyright an idea, okay? Or a concept. In European countries, you cannot copyright an idea or a concept. At least you have to copyright the treatment, something a bit more concrete. But it's worth it. And you can copyright it in any other country. You don't have to copyright it here. It would be valid for the entire world, I mean, in case of trouble. So, yeah, you can. It's a, and if you, if you copyright in the Writers Guild of America, the Writers Guild of America East, you can register it. We call it register because copyright is more Library of Congress. And it's, it, there's a special price for students. So it's not, it's not really so expensive. And maybe it's worth it. Before moving, I do copyright every single thing I do before even making a call about it. You know? You never know. And people are, are not good in, in general in the world. <laughs> so they are more than ready to, to steal ideas from others. You know? More than ready. So yeah, I would say copyright. Uh, then, um, okay, now here it talks about how to contact producers, how to, uh, 